do I look like? Somebody who knows what I'm doing? Hey folks, welcome back to the garage. Took a little bit of time off last week to uh, take care of when my dogs had surgery. So today I'm going to focus on getting the rear axle put back in. Uh, pretty close, just have to put in the uh, rear upper control arm torque box reinforcement brackets. It's a mouthful. Yeah, but I also have to just clear some stuff out of here too to make some room. Can you hear that? It sounds like a truck backing up. That can only mean one thing, new micro feature time. It's a fresh shipment of dog sleazies garbage. All right, so if you couldn't tell by that awesome jingle, I have some stuff that I need to unbox real quick. It's just some stuff for the project, some stuff for just my garage. Uh, if you want, I will put a timer up, and if you want, you could skip past this whole segment. So check the description for uh, the link to the artist that made that jingle, because I love it. I ordered some, uh, some oil filters for one of the Mustangs, and this is how they, they ended up. This box, the filter looks fine. It's just that the box that it, look at this. Really? How many times has this box opened? This one. Was this installed before? I don't know. These must've been sitting in a warehouse for a while. Look at this. This was cut. Nope, that was ripped, never mind. Oh, here we go. That's nice. So yeah, that's how uh, when you buy cheap filters on Amazon, that's how they arrive. So this is just, you've all seen my subpar charging mechanisms over here. So this is to uh, hopefully alleviate that somewhat and be able to charge more things. There's a plug on my, uh, my toolbox. So yeah, it's just a USB charger. And then I can take some of these USB-C cables and then I can split them up a little bit. Neato. That's why you guys are watching an automotive channel to see an unboxing <laughs> of a USB charger. Sorry about that. All right, let's move on. These are just, oh, these are one piece? You know the ones that you get and they, the, the top rips off? I was hoping that these were replacements for that, but this seems like a one piece, I think. No, it's two piece. Okay, so these are two piece lug nuts to replace. One of them on my edge is uh, a little messed up. What could this be? This is <laughs> telescoping, oh my God. Telescopic lug wrench for the side of the road. Does it tighten or just, no, that's it. And it's got these two-sided uh, sockets. Cool, always need one of these, right? But surprisingly, my shop does not have one. I believe this is an update for my, I'm sorely lacking in the half-inch drive department. And this is just a cheap set. Cool, metrics. Is that something that I'm missing? Oh, that stinks. These really smell terrible. Cool. So that's good to have. Also, I had to do some right angle drilling. I bought this wonderful piece of equipment from Amazon. Uh, we'll give this a try. <laughs> we'll see what it does. It might suck. But that's the name of the segment, right? All right, so I also have roasted myself for how bad the light was. This is one of the reasons why I bought this multiple charging system, is because these are small LED flood lamps. Like they said, you can run off of double A's or these. All right, it's not bad. The light's pretty I'll be able to put these under the car. Let's charge these up. Again, these aren't great. The light's not fantastic. In fact, I feel like the reviews kind of lied a little bit. But then again, it is Amazon, so what do you expect, right? Because it's not close. That's quality. 
be kind of cool if they had magnets on them. I should have actually looked for ones with magnets instead, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Now, what is this? This is, all right, so if that goes on the, there we go. So it goes like this, and then I can put the, put a light or a camera on top of it. Not very comfortable, I will say that. There we go. Cool, so now I can like have this horrendous thing attached to my wrist. This is just almost like stocking stuffer level of cheapness. Wow, this is, uh, let's see how weak it is. Oh, wow. Okay, not bad. I guess the idea is to like hold smaller things, but yeah, cool. So at some point I'll find a use for this, I think. For whatever reason, I have uh, obviously put a lot of faith into this stuff on this channel. So far I haven't been let down, but the only really way I will know is once we start seeing this stuff get um, exposed to oxidizing elements. I bought a teeny tiny wet dry vac. I need something to clean up my bench. Look at this, it's fully built. It's just a vacuum. I'm gonna severely cut this short, I promise. It's a vacuum, but yeah, so it's for cleaning up here around this area. So let's get back into the car. All right, so we got right angle boy. Okay. Just gotta get in there and get these two. Yeah, and that light seems to be working pretty well. So that's kind of cool. Not super bright though, unfortunately. Let's see if this works now. So I just wasted my money. Well, that worked. Yeah, I got that one already. There we go. That worked perfectly. Mr. Floppy uh, right angle boy. Actually, this is a, I highly recommend this. Works really well, at least for this. Let's just hope that does not fall <clears throat> directly onto my face. Some more persuasion, I suppose. Now, at this point, we have to drill these holes out for the sleeves, front and back. Oh, it's two layers of steel. That's why. Yep. 
perfect. Okay, there we go. That's one. And one. That's through. And that's through. Perfect. So the idea is I'm gonna push this up as close as possible. But I also wanna paint these real quick, these holes, to avoid corrosion. So I'm gonna do that first, and then I'm gonna drill the other side. Plenty wide. Whoops. Now I just want to point out that uh, my buddy Bone Shaker's Garage pointed out that I could have just welded these, and he is absolutely 100% correct. But I don't have a good reason why I'm doing the uh, the textbook way. I got to tell you, welding this sounds super super good right now. I think my paint has dried. Once this is in place, it's gonna keep it from coming out. Very close. Look at this. Look how close that is. Like just go into your home. Let's come back to that. Yeah, we're good. One concern, that is the factory bump stop. It's supposed to go here somewhere. And then that other bar goes across. I just want to test that factory bump stop. I believe this goes like this, if I recall correctly. 
And then this should not interfere, ideally. We go here. So that's tight. I mean, that's touching. Uh, okay. That's a problem. All right, so at least we know that there's a, uh, a bit of a clearance issue here with this. I guess I could cut this and just do like a twofer. It doesn't need to be a tripod. I'm not gonna be bottoming out a lot. Maybe I could resection this like this. I think we're on the right path here. I'm not gonna tighten this down, but I think I'm gonna call this part of the project done. I don't think we're gonna get much better fitment for this. I'm gonna take this back out. I'm gonna clean all this stuff up, check to see what everybody else does first. And then, uh, yeah, so if I have to cut this, I'll cut it. I don't really care. And I also wanna put in the brake hose bracket for the, uh, the rear, rear brakes. Yeah, so if you're gonna be doing this yourself, make sure you have a good hammer. Well, percussive maintenance goes a long way. I think I have to put some washers on here too. Cool, all right, so let's go wrap it up. All right, so that was a lot more work than I thought it was gonna be, but uh, I think the kit is, is in, I think it's gonna be good, and I think it's going to brace. <laughs> make sure you check out the, uh, the artist that <laughs> that did my jingle for uh, Sleazy's Garbage. And this is gonna be the last episode before the United States celebrates Thanksgiving. So I hope all of my US friends have a amazing Thanksgiving. Let me know what you think. Give me a like, subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. This was a huge, huge thing. Drilling holes in my frame is perfectly normal. What did I do at the top of this? Did I just down? It's right in front of me.